Hi, I'm Ursula. I'm the executive chef from the Boathouse in Tiverton, Rhode Island. And today on the Small Bites, we will be preparing the Mediterranean Swordfish Burger. So today for this dish, I use my favorite feta cheese, which is the Narragansett Creamery Sea Salty Feta. Uh, so they're using sea salt to brine their feta cheese, so you're gonna get a really nice briny flavor to it. Um, if you can't get the Narragansett Creamery Sea Salty Feta, you could substitute any other of your favorite fetas. So one thing in mixing with the swordfish burger, you just want to make sure that you don't over mix it. You want to leave the larger clumps of cheese so that way when you're pressing it down on the cast iron skillet, you're going to get that nice caramelization of the cheese. So when cooking with anything where you're going to be using higher heat, you always want to use some, an oil with a high temp on it. So for instance, here I'm cooking today with a canola oil blend. Um, so that way I'm going to get the nice caramelization without actually burning the fat that I'm using to cook in. And a little tidbit for um, when you're toasting your buns at home, um, I like to use butter, so that way when you're putting the butter onto the pan, that actually the milk solids start to steam, so it'll actually steam the inside of your bun, make it nice pillowy and soft, and then the fat from the butter itself will give you that nice crispy texture. All right, so today for the preparation of the swordfish burger, I made a Kalamata olive and red pepper aioli. Um, if you don't feel like making that aioli, you could also use any of your favorite sauces that you enjoy, roasted garlic aioli, um, or you could also use your favorite dressing. 